What's up everyone? Marvin Four here with another Great American Survival. And today I'm gonna to be telling you all about my first box I received from Mystery Tackle Box. Now, Mystery Tackle Box, if you follow our channel, last month I ditched the Rush Tackle Box and I added Mystery Tackle Box to our rotation. So I will be adding the Mystery Tackle Box Elite Box to my subscriptions. Very cool stuff. But when I ordered, I thought I was gonna be getting one I was going to get the March box first, but I didn't. Um, I got an introduction box, and then a couple days later, I got charged for the first part. So I thought that was going to be the March box, and that's not either. So I'm honestly um, going to show you guys what they sent us and tell you what I think. So stick with us. I'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. So as I said, I got two boxes. I'm going to show you the first one, which is the box they sent me, like my introduction box. And then this is the February 2021 box. Both awesome. Now, when I signed up, like I said, I thought they were going to send me that one first, but they sent me this one, which is a good box, I will say. Now, Ket, now Mystery Tackle Box has always done really well. They've got their social media platform stuff. Take a picture with your fish, upload it, and share their hashtags. And you got a good chance of getting popped up on their social media. So inside, you always got the dibble, which is trips and uh, tips and tricks. And you got Carl's Fun Facts. Always very cool stuff. Next, you've got the, this is the Elite Box. So this is what's included in this box. Very nice. Very highly loaded. I like it. Now, I'm going to move that over there. We're going to start off. We've got a Google-eyed swim football jig in 7 16th ounce. That's pretty good. That's a little different of a weight. Kind of random. Nice. And, and it's just black. I like that. Two-pack. Very nice. Next, we've got a Savage Gear 4D Craw 3-inch crawfish 5-pack. Scented. Very nice. And this is in Magic Craw. Dark blue-black. Very nice colors, I like it. This is gonna go good. You can either throw this on like a, like a worm hook or you can throw this on your Ned rig. Both ways, you're gonna catch some fish. And next we got a Catch Co. Tightrope Baby Fireworks Super Jig, quarter ounce, and green pumpkin, right? Green pumpkin blue, two aught hook. Very nice looking jig, I like that. Next, we got a net bait. Now, net bait have caught me some of my biggest fish. These are great plastics. I really like them. Uh, this is a seven pack of their three and a half inch Paca Slim in Black Shadow Flare. These work great as uh, uh, chatterbait trailers. They just, they, you can throw these on like a, just a regular worm hook. They work great. They're, they'll catch fish. So, nice. Glad they did this. If you're gonna send me plastics, send me hooks. Uh, Spear point, three aught, two pack. Very nice, wide gap hook. Different shape, but Spear point's got some cool stuff. I like that. Um, next, we got another pack of plastics. We've got a Makura Shad Tail four inch six pack from Lucky John. Really nice look. That is a sharp looking. Uh, did a lot of drop shots through a lot of swim baits here in Georgia throughout the winter. These were swim baits on like just a weightless on an offset worm hook or a worm hook were great ways to catch fish this summer, uh, this winter through as cold as it got here. Uh, next, we've got a Lucky John original flat crank 60 DRF 2.4 inch swim bait. Or square build crankbait, or not square build. That's a deep diver. Okay, that's an odd shape. Oh, I'm gonna open this thing. This thing's a little different. It's a lip. It's a deep diving crankbait, but it's got a really weird profile. Flat sides. Looks like a deep diving square bill. Honestly, very cool. I'd be interested to try that. That's something a little different. I've never seen one quite like that. Get down in there. 
Good God. Next, we've got a BD series, Boyd Duckett. Let's see, what is this? Uh, BDC 12. Dives 10 to 12 feet. Very nice. Red Croc. Now these, right now, getting into the spawn. Red crankbaits are always going to do well. You can catch some monsters. Very nice lure. I like that. I like deep diving crankbaits. They they just catch fish. Especially right now as we roll into the, uh, the spawn. Uh, oh, it's got a card. Pretty cool. This card is highlighting and telling you how different ways to retrieve that firework super jig. Very cool. Drag it, hop it, stroke it, swim it. Very nice. I like that. Nice surprise. Put this over here with the rest of the paper. Got ourselves a cool sticker. Might have to add that to the board here. Got our cadre board. Got some cool stickers on here so far, but that's a different one from Catchco. Put that over here. Uh, next, we got a Guggen Squad. We've got a Guggen Squad banger, square build crankbait. The banger in sexy shad. Uh, two to five feet depth, uh, two point two and a quarter inch in length, and three eighths ounce. Very nice. I know there's a lot of controversy going on right now with Guggen Squad baits, but honestly, I haven't had any problems with their baits. I just did a review of their uh, revolver. Very cool. So if you guys want to get involved in that giveaway, go over and check out our video. I'll put it at the end. Go check that out if you want to get involved in that. All you got to be is a subscriber to our channel, and you got a chance of getting involved, get winning that lure, uh, giving away one just to some lucky winner. Uh, you got to be one of the first 50. And then last but not least, we've got a Sakoshi Bug from Catch Co. 10,000 Fish Elastoplastic. Now, I got one of these a while back, and I, only, I couldn't find them anywhere else, but I got one in a box a while back. It was years ago. And these things were great. They really held up and lasted what seemed like forever. Finally, you end up taking them off your hook because they've just been on there forever. So, very nice. Good color. I like it. It's got like a red flake and blue flake. And I don't know if that means they're both the same. It's called Blue Craw. So, it's got a red side and a, and a red, uh, red side and a blue side. Very cool. I'm going to have to put that sticker on here somewhere. And I'm going to grab all of this, put it back in here. And then we're going to grab that box and show you what's in it. Box number two. Now, some of you might have already seen the February box uh, for 2021. Very cool box. Just like before, you get your nice little layout, do your tagging and, you know, submitting your pictures. Very cool. Got another dibble. Carl Fun Fact. Very cool stuff. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put this sticker. I got to put it down here on the board somewhere. As you see, figure maybe over here. It's a good place for it, right? We'll see. And then we've got our box. Remember, this is a $40 a month subscription box. So they got to really load this box up. And it looks like they got two lures in here alone that are going to be close, you know, $12, $13 to $15 box, uh, lures. And that's one of these right off the bat. That's this guy. Chase Bait has made some great lures lately. Really getting out there. I caught a monster on the prop bait. That thing was awesome. I just ordered a couple more of those from Tackle Warehouse. Very cool. But the Rip Snorter Weedless uh, Underspin Snap Lock comes with an extra hook. And it's just kind of an odd set because it's more like a lipless uh, crankbait by the way it's located. But it's going to come through like this. So it's going to be a little more weedless. I like that. That's going to have to, we're going to try that out like ASAP. Uh, next, we got ourselves a Roadrunner Marabou Jig Pro Runner. These are, man, I, if you haven't caught a fish on a Marabou Jig, um, you haven't been fishing long because uh, I've been fishing with those forever. They're great. They are great, though. Uh, next, we got a pack of soft plastics from Creme. Uh, Creme uh, does some great stuff. 3.75 Craw and Green Pumpkin 5-pack. Um, I just bought a bunch of Creme, creme Worms. Uh, creme Worms, I don't know how you pronounce them. But um, they had them on, on clearance at Dick's and bought a couple of them. A couple packs of them. Really nice. It's a five pack though. These are nice because they're not really big and bulky. They're not a huge profile uh, creature bait. Very nice. Just like anything, if, as I've said before, if you're going to send me plastics, send me hooks. Now these are, looks like just 
straight old, good old worm hooks. Doesn't say anything. It says Harmony. Harmony Fishing Company Razor Series Offset Worm Hooks. Two bucks. Not bad for a three pack. It's about right. I'm not going to go through and list all the prices just because there's a lot. And you know, honestly, it's irrelevant at this point for me. Um, this is a hard hat jig, diesel jig, half ounce football jig. Very cool. It's got a green pumpkin color with a lot of blue uh, highlight trailer. Very nice. Okeechobee Craw in 4 aught. That's a big old jig. I like that. And as we roll into the spawn, it's going to come in handy. We've got a Wu Tungsten pocket pack. And that's pretty cool. You're going to get yourself two of these small... What size are they, does it say? No, it doesn't tell me how much they are. I don't know what they weigh. But nice, small presentation. Uh, great thing about tungsten, very small. You've got a couple of uh, bobber stops, you know, weight stops, whatever you want to call them. You've got some beads to get that little snap, little crackle going on when you're casting. Those things just, it's a great way to fish. Now we've got a clutch lipless crankbait from the Guggen Squad from Ketchco. Very nice. I like that. Good color. Sriracha craw. This color is going to catch fish just because that's what catches fish in the spring. Red, red lipless crankbaits will catch you some fish. Um, next, we've got a Rebel Barbless Hooks Bluegill Square Build Crankbait. Very nice. And Fire Tiger Bluegill. Very nice. I like that. Two and a half inch float diver. So when you let off, it'll float back up. Like if you're bouncing it off something and you're worried you might, you do get snuck. Uh, there is a chance you could let off a little bit or pop your line and it might go up. So we'll see. Uh, quarter ounce. Very nice. I like that. Oh, we've got, where do bluegill live? Mike Buka's baby bullgill. Mike Buka is a incredible lure maker. Um, I have been fishing the bullshad style swim baits for years. Uh, I've got some of the big guys. I've got ones that go all the way up to heck. I think they're eight to almost, I think I've got eight and 10 inch uh, bullshads. I've caught some tanks on the rivers here in Georgia with those things. Uh, but these are the new ones. This is the last item. This is the baby bullgill by Mike Buka. 3.7 inches, slow sink, very nice. Uh, seven, basically three quarters ounce. Very nice. Now I did a, um, I wanted, I did a giveaway and gave away one of these. These things are awesome. These things you can really just cast them out and either burn them back, or you can do some tricks where you're just jerk working it like a jerk bait. Bull shads, bullgills, these things catch fish. Especially now as we get into the spawn. Bluegills start getting out there. You're going to have them out there just to create some feeding frenzies. Very cool. And then we got a sticker. Howdy. Very nice. So in closing, this is what you're going to get. Now, this was my $30 intro box. I used the promo code TRYMTB, which saves you 10 bucks off your first box. Now, if you don't want to get the Elite box, they've got the lesser, uh, the ones that cost less, that are, there's a $20 box, there's a $30 box, and then there's the $40 box. So you decide what is better in your price range. Use the TRYMTB $10 code to save you 10 bucks. And what do you think? This right here was 40 bucks altogether included the monster bull shad bullgill by mike buka uh these things are they just slay the big bass uh the rip snorter from chase bait can't wait to try that rip chase baits have caught me some great fish in the past year since i've been throwing a few of theirs uh everything here is great setups i have no doubt that the things that are here will catch fish so if you're looking at trying out one of these boxes, tell me what you guys think and make sure that if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and join our community. We'd love to have you be part of it. And guys, we can't do this without you. We hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys will come back next week uh, for another video. And guys, if you're a subscriber, ring that bell and get notified every time I post a new video. So make sure you take time this week to get out there. Enjoy yourself, enjoy nature, be prepared and stay safe. God bless guys. 
We'll see you soon.